Hello, I'm Simplify. Today, I'll be showing you how to make this comic book halftone effect in Photoshop. Before we start, make sure your image is a PNG and make sure your foreground and background colors are set to the default. If not, just click on this button here. Now select your image, go to Filter, Filter Gallery. We will apply three effects. Just apply them in this succession that I'm about to show you and we'll tweak the settings later. The first setting that we need to apply is reticulation. So just open the sketch folder and apply reticulation here. Then click on this plus button and go to the texture folder and apply grain. Click the plus button one more time and apply halftone pattern. While the halftone pattern is selected, set the size to 3 and set the contrast to all the way up, which is 50. Then select reticulation, set the density to 0, for the foreground level set it to 2 and the background level set it to 15. Now select the grain, for the intensity set it to 15 and the contrast set it to 25. These settings will vary from one image to another because different images have different lightings etc. So now just go back to the grain. While you have the grain selected, just tweak the effect so you have a result that you're satisfied with. So I'm just gonna lower the contrast here so I can get more dots back. For the intensity, I'm just gonna tweak it down a little bit as well. Now I'm gonna change the settings on reticulation. I'm gonna lower the foreground level to 1 and I'm gonna leave the background level as it is. For the halftone pattern, you need to leave the contrast all the way up. For the size, you can leave it around 4 and 3. I'm just gonna leave it at 3. Once you're satisfied, just hit OK. Now we need to add color to our image. We'll be adding multiple colors here. Each part of the image like the jacket, the mask, etc. So go to adjustments, solid color. For the jacket, I'm gonna do this green. Set the colors field blending mode to multiply and select its layer mask and hit Ctrl I on your keyboard to invert the mask. Now grab the brush tool or hit B on your keyboard. Make sure your foreground color is white and make sure the brush hardness is all the way up. After that, just clip the color field to the main image. Just hold Alt on your keyboard and click between the two layers. While the layer mask is selected, start painting on the areas where you want your color. I'm not gonna waste your time and let you watch me paint every bit of details. So I just rushed through it. Make sure to zoom and take your time painting so the results can be good. If you don't want to paint, there is another method. Just grab the pen tool by hitting P on your keyboard or just select it from your toolbar here and select the area where you want the color. For example, I'm going to do this one. I'm just going to select it very roughly like here. After you're done selecting, Hit Ctrl Enter on your keyboard, select the layer mask and hit delete on your keyboard. And that's a faster way to bring color to your pieces. But as you can see here, the lines are too perfect. If you don't like that, you can stick to painting it with the brush tool. Or you can just select the brush tool and go back and refine it. I'm going to add a new color for the mask. So go to adjustments again, solid color, and I'm going to select the, a faded red. Do the same steps as we did for the first one. So just set the layer to multiply, select the layer mask and invert it by hitting control I and clip the layer to the layer below it by holding alt and clicking between the two layers. Same as before, select the layer mask, select the brush tool, make sure the foreground color is white and start painting. I did some quick painting off camera, but you should take your time doing this. So you can have a better result. The last few steps that we need to do is add a background and add some noise to the whole image. So the first thing we need to do is add the background. I'm just going to select the layer below my main image. I'm just going to do another solid color. I'm going to do a dark green here, then hit OK. Now select the last layer and create a new layer by hitting this plus icon here. Then go to edit, fill and fill it with 50% gray, then hit OK. Then go to filter, noise, add noise. Set an amount you're happy with. I'm going to leave it at 15 here, then hit OK. Then set the blending mode to overlay. And that's it. If you want to support the channel, you can check out my website. In the description below, I provide a lot of free and paid assets. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you on the next one.